So the work that I've produced um, has been through a study of religion and art history. Uh, what I do is look at how people interact with one another to create work that comments on the past, present, as well as the future. So I think it's essential to say that a lot of my previous work has been two-dimensional oil paintings that have used my own body and bodies of those that I care about um, to be placed into mythical uh, images that tell stories, whether that's Christian symbology or Greek mythology. So as I transition into this graduate program, my current body of work looks at the harsh treatment of beings through the transatlantic slave trade. So I investigate um, this horrific event. I also use the Yoruba deity of Alokun, as well as the physical locations traveled to create this artwork. Um, Alokun, the Yoruba deity, governs and is the bottom two thirds of the ocean. And at this level, there is perpetual darkness. Uh, no photosynthesis occurs at this level. So it is here that the unknown and mythical monsters are born. Um, and from what I take with this, this harsh journey that people are forced upon, um, Alokun envelops these lost bodies on their journey, um, and he governs secrets that we no longer have and know. So this ship, these vessels that I create are signifiers of time. They're also markers of locations that have traveled as well. And in this body of work, I'm using my own collective thoughts and handwritten letters to weave myself into the work, just as I've done in the past with figurative painting. So knowing this information, I want to call upon the ancestors and the local through a ritualistic practice in my investigation of their treatment to make amends with the past, but also bring uh, forth uh, honoring to the dead. So doing this, I ask the question, how can we make peace with those lost and the memories that are forgotten? And this piece itself hangs six feet high, and it holds a lot of trauma with the chains that are upon it. The steel that's used has a lot of weight. And it's a, a large metaphor for um, pain and grievances that many in the diaspora have dealt with. And learning what those ancestral links, and growing from them, and learning them what we can do to mend the future. Um, another key aspect to this work is fabric and how it's been used in our culture, through quilting or just textiles in our lives and homes as well. So, thank you.